Hi Fuck Dragons, I'm here to do a TBR video and I'm gonna do like not a monthly TBR but just like a genre TBR. I love fall but I hate when it starts to get cold so I tend to become a bit of a home buddy. I tend to read a lot. I have to take my German Shepherd for puppy walks so we tend to do a lot of audiobook listening but I love to just curl up in my reading nook and read. Sorry, you hear her barking because we're getting construction done in our house and she hears stuff and she can't go outside because our whole patio is like none so. So, um, so I have five cozy fantasy books on my TBR that I'm really excited to read and I would love to share them with you and maybe put them on your TBR. So the first is not going to be a shock to anyone. I am really excited for Bookshop Some Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. I'm going to attach a photo here. just read the summary so now I'm like even more excited. I was really excited for Legends. Like I love Legends and Latte. It was one of my favorite books of the year when I read it. Um, but this is like a sequel, a prequel following Viv. And she gets hurt in a battle and she winds up having to go to this bookstore and she winds up having to hunt for a powerful necromancer. Um, but she winds up having to go stay in this bookstore and romance drama and a little bit of suspense occurs and I'm really excited for this one. It comes out next week, November 7th I think, which is also the day something else comes out, but I'm very excited for this one as well. Um, but yeah, I really want to read more by Travis Baldry, so this will be a great addition. And then there, here's just a couple of books that I had on my KU library that I really do want to read, but they have just not become a priority. So I have The Herb Witch by The Herbs Witch Apprentice. Um, I don't have the author's name, but I will attach a photo here. And this, this, like, the tagline just got me, again, I love anything about witches. So if you have a witch in your title, I'm probably going to pick it up. A Jane Austen meets early Barbie movies in this Regency-inspired fantasy. And I think it's about a girl that's, like, a debutante, and she has a cousin, and things go from there, and she kind of gets stuck up into this high society life. Her powers start to grow. She realizes she has magic. But there's more dangers looking in the witch village. That's all I know. But it sounds really, really cute. It's a little bit on the long side. But it is a KU book. And I'm really excited to read a bit more KU. Because I do have it for about another year. So I'm going to use it while I can. Um, but yeah, that I do have on KU. So I'll probably read it sooner rather than later. I also got, or I also hope to read, a coup, a coup of Tea. I don't have the author, but I will attach a photo here. And the summary that kind of made me peaked was A Coup of Tea is the first book in the Tea Princess Chronically, a cozy series full of magic, tea, friendships, lifting people up even when the odds seem impossible. So I'm really excited for that. I think it has to do with princesses and she kind of like runs away and goes to a tea shop and that's the story that so far. But I'm really excited for that one. It sounds really, really good. Um, and then sort of on the same veins as Bookshops and Donuts, I have The Bookshop and The Barbarian. And I think that this is another, like, cozy fantasy. I will touch a photo here. But it's about a girl that runs away from her homeland. And she becomes the new owner of the fabled cozy quill. And I'm sure some... But the book, Bookshops and Barbarians is a low-state comedic cozy fantasy with a slice of sapphic romance about the celebration of books, winter, community, friendship, and unexpected love. So... I really hope that I get around to that because that one sounds perfect. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog where I read that in Bookships and Bonos. Who knows? Um, and in the next book I actually have on KU, but it's actually got kicked off KU because I think McMillan got it, is Can't Spell Treason Without Tree T, and I will put it over here. So this is in the tradition of legend and lattes. It comes a cozy fantasy steeped in sapphic romance with one of the queen's private guards and a powerful mage who want to open a bookshop and live happily ever after, if only the world would let them. I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll do a reading vlog where I read all three of these back to back because they all sound so good. Oh my goodness. So yeah, very excited for this one. This one did get bought by Macmillan, but I did have it on KU before then, so I have to keep it until I read it, which I am not letting that book go. Um, and yeah. And then the next, the, the last two, the last one that I've had on KU for so long, it's my first book I got, and it is um, 
Sorry, my dog is not pleased with me right now. Um, Miss Percy's Pocket Guys to the Care and Feeding of British Dragons. I will attach a photo here. Keep it, I'm sorry, my video clip died, and I don't know why, so I'm just going to quickly say that this is a very popular cozy fantasy book, and it has a woman that has unexpectedly come into possession of a dragon. It gives me, um, Portland vibes, it gives me sense and scales and sensibility vibes, so I'm very excited to dive into this one. This has been the one that's been on my TBR the longest, sorry for the weird lighting, but I'm editing before I have to go to the doctor, so very excited for this one. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a reading vlog. I am game to do it, especially with the weather getting chillier, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know in the comments what is one book you want to read or one book you have added to your TBR. I would love to know. Bye.